What we've learned in the story of Elijah is when God has something for you, you have to be willing to run after it. And, and in order to run after something, you have to leave and kiss goodbye the thing that you love. And not only should you kiss goodbye the thing that you love, but you have to actually burn the bridge to get back there. We say, well, Pastor, that, that's kind of a lot of work, isn't it? But yeah, it is. Following God and, and chasing after your dreams and your aspirations and walking into your purpose and your destiny, it requires you to pursue it with a passion. It requires you to move forward and get excited about it. Don't be a couch potato. Don't be someone who does not achieve what God has called you to achieve. There will be people who will die at the age of 60, 70, 100 years old. Who knows? And they will never have accomplished what God has called them to accomplish. What? I mean, can you imagine going into the heavenly realms and God looking at you and saying, well, okay, done, my good and faithful servant. You did some of what I wanted you to, but I had so much more for you. My prayer has often been, Lord, let me not miss not one moment. Let me not miss not one assignment that you have for me. And that should be your prayer too. But not only just in the things of God, but at work, in your family, in your life, you should be the person who advances, who runs forward. Get, get away from the laziness. I, I can't stand laziness. I can't, I can't stand people who have no drive. I mean, I mean, God has created you to do something wonderful and powerful and outstanding. And we see this in Elijah's life. Elisha, he followed the man of God, Elijah, and the result of his passion, the result of his willingness to leave what was familiar, his result of, of burning um, the, the things of the past, it it all culminated in when Elijah was called to heaven, the mantle dropped. Elijah was the only person in close proximity who could scoop up the mantle. The Bible goes on to record that Elijah did twice as many miracles as Elijah. Elisha walked in the power of God because he was willing to chase after the plan of God. Are you willing to chase after the plan of God? Are you willing to pursue with passion and hunger, what God has for you. This is what I've hopefully been able to encourage you the last few weeks with, is this, please, please don't settle for average. You're an above average person with an above average call who serves a, an above average God. Whatever you do, however you do, whenever you do, please ch get back fear, get back the past, everything that holds you backwards, cut it off, burn it, get away from it and say, Lord, I'm going to pursue you with a fire, with a passion, with a love. And what you'll see is at the end of it all, after you have fought the fight, fight and you have raced the race and you have completed the task, you're going to look back and see that God met you just like he promised. He met you in the middle of your situation and blessed you and, 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 and caused you to have an experience with him that no one else could have but you. Because you, you were assigned for a specific task with a specific calling, with a specific purpose. Don't miss your moment. God bless you. I'll see you next week.